Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about keeping a ton of developers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, why is it that large companies keep a ton of software engineers when they aren't building a bunch of new code? Well, who said that they're not building a bunch of new code? As a consumer of uh, some digital system, uh, which uh, you may not think so much about, uh, you don't necessarily know if something is being developed or what's being developed and it's not that you're going to see it all the time. So some people sort of have this idea that you take like one of those like major major uh, applications that you might be using every day and it feels like it's always the same application, right? Well, yeah, but that's because you're only interacting with one very small part of that overall system. The thing that is happening in the back end or like might happen for specific users or specific other people who are using the system or the features you might not be using. There's a ton of stuff that can be going on that you're not so aware of. But let's assume that you are correct and let's say that it, these companies have a lot of engineers but they're not building all that many new things and so forth. Then there's another part to it which is you know things like bug fixing and having us look at making sure that the overall work process is stable. And so you might find that some companies have a pretty large amount of people but the pace that they move at is fairly slow which is a very common thing that happens in larger organizations. And that ties into the thing I was saying about bugs and like yeah, the sort of like work related issues where like productivity is a problem because the more people you have, the harder it is for you to make sure that everything is scheduled correctly. I would say that this is the main challenge of effective management, basically resource optimization. If you think about your teams as resources, um, in a sense, because the, the when you have a large distributed system, you have all these different services and you have different systems talking to each other and features needs to be in place in one set of uh, systems in order for another set of systems to be able to do whatever they're supposed to be doing. We call those dependencies, basically. Uh, and those dependencies is a bit of a problem because you might have a team that really needs to ship something but they can't because there's two other teams that needs to do their thing before they can start on their thing and that scheduling of resources can in many cases lead to very warped workflows i've been in many situations where one or two teams like you know sometimes they have nothing to do basically they can take as long as they want for everything and sometimes are like in constant crunch mode all the time because they need to ship sharply like all the time because they're in this like this state where they basically have to ship in, on very short deadlines due to the way that the organization is structured. But some people, as I said, they have like nothing to do because whenever they want to do something, they have to wait for three or four other teams to do something before they can do it. And the scheduling is, it's a nightmare. This, as I said, is probably the number one problem for a lot of uh, companies when it comes to management. The, the sad fact is that it ties into something that I like to say where I say that talent doesn't scale. And what I mean by that is basically that there is no sustainable business model, no structure that you can create that over like over the like if you just scale try to scale it to like a hundred people or a thousand people, it doesn't really matter how many people it is, it can be 10 people. You will not be able to guarantee that all of those people are all so in tune, so skilled and so talented that they will be able to figure all of this stuff out by themselves. Because if you could do that, then basically you would be able to, f uh, uh, to utilize these people to practically the greatest extent possible. And this is the difference between really, really successful IT projects and the vast majority who are semi-successful or in many cases not so successful. Because the the better your software developers are, and I'm not talking just coding skills now, I'm talking at all the factors that make up an efficient work process and efficient software delivery, 
the better your system will work. The less of like waste you will have, the fewer of these dependencies and these sorts of issues you will have. And that is a very difficult thing to get right. So in many cases you have a lot of very large companies who have entire departments of people who can't really be utilized to the great well in some cases they are being utilized it's just the, as i said like they're just not as good as they would need to be in order to not just sit around and not have all that much to do or cause these sorts of issues that might happen uh, and that slowing down process is the inconsistency of as i said that you can't scale talent because you can't have one small group of very talented people and have them produce really, really well if they have a bunch of dependencies around them. So what I want you to take away from this is that the simple answer to why they have large companies have a lot of developers but maybe not shipping as much code as you think they should is that for the most part it's probably that they are shipping a lot of code it's or working on shipping code it's just that the amount of code that they might be shipping might not be something that you notice as a consumer and in those cases where there is not a lot of code being shipped it's very likely because there's a very difficult process to get forward you can almost think of a larger organization as um, or rather the process of creating a large IT company as starting out with a, like a very very speedy little bicycle or something like that and then when you mature your system it becomes a car and then you build it even more and then all of a sudden it becomes a truck and then it becomes this behemoth gigantic uh, like, uh, thing that has a lot of baggage that just runs slower and slower your max velocity speed goes down you will get be to be able to uh, load that like it, it, the, you have more stuff going on than I in a small company but you won't be able to move as quickly and the reason being as i said because when you add so much complexity to a system like all these different teams all these different people varying levels of talent different architectures and different and, you know synchronizing all of these people so they sort of know how to schedule everything and how to destruct uh, structure their solution so that they fit nicely with the overall ecosystem at the company that is a challenge that very few companies I don't think and I mean nobody's perfect at this it's yeah it, that's the that's the game for most large IT companies to figure this out and so in many cases you will find that resource waste or waste as we call it is a very common factor in large IT companies like where you can have entire departments who are sort of not really weighing up the cost of their salaries or like the system isn't really performing as well or so forth and so forth but the reality is that there's nothing you can really do well, there are things you can do which is as I said that's the game but that is the main challenge for management in many cases to find a structure that makes you all the people in the company as happy as possible but also as productive as possible at the same time that is the higher level um, roles that usually you see when you become a more senior experience where you might be involved in trying to figure these sorts of things out and good architectures like things like that uh, talented people having a good hiring process like all of this sort of stuff, work frameworks this is all these are the tools that you play around with in order to make that happen but it is inevitable that the more people you have the more code you have the slower you will move and the less code you will ship it's really just a question of how much will you slow down if you have really good people you can still move pretty quickly but as i said it's very very difficult uh, borderline on impossible to just scale a company with just having like finding the best of the best and make sure and just have them solve everything because even the best of the best uh, are usually not able to solve this problem as like an individual because when you are in a very productive team even if you're the best of the best it doesn't matter if all the other stuff around you isn't working all that well and that's usually why things takes a lot more a lot longer in the larger organizations have a great day